What's up guys, Corrupt here, and I'm just gonna jump right into it. Spyro is getting rebooted. I know what you're thinking, I don't care, but I do, okay? And I'm talking about it, and it's happening. I knew it was gonna happen because Crash happened, and they'd be stupid not to, which Crash was such a success. And Spyro, in my opinion, was bigger than Crash, in my opinion. And let me explain. Spyro, when Spyro released, you know, I played it, I fell in love with it as any game that I do fall in love with it, I obsess over it, I obsessed so hard, I played the first one, Ripped Those Rage, and Year of the Dragon, in love, instantly, I knew one day I'd go back to Spyro, but not with them graphics, I couldn't do it with them graphics, mm, I don't know, I gotta wait for something, and this something is happening in September of this year hopefully it doesn't get a pushback because most things in our life do do the money do the problems all that all that but i want to talk about spyro for a little bit because yeah, like all video games that i fall in love with it it changed the way i play games i say that a lot division did for me dark souls did <clears throat> excuse me Dark Souls did the same thing, as did other games, Dark Cloud, Dark Cloud 2, which I'm still waiting for Dark Cloud 3, level 5, stop working on Nini Kuno, and give me Dark Cloud 3, appreciate it, back to Spyro, now Spyro, in my, like, as I remember, I think it was the first of its kind for me, you know, going in, having like an open world little hub area where you go to different areas through gates and then you talk to NPCs they give you quests collectibles or well, collectibles was kind of a thing but the quest things was new for me and I was like this is cool I can actually talk to like talking to people in a video game was a big thing like oh, I could talk to this guy what's he, he I, I collect and, and he'll give me like it was a thing for me so I fell in love with that and it changed the way I play video games and moving forward I wanted more of that more of that and they and as the years go by they gave us more of that and more of that so but there is a downside there is a downside as rebooted series they have to change something right whatever it may be every game's different but they need to change something to keep up with the times you can't release an old thing make it polish it and then if if the the combat system or whatever doesn't work for the times it's not going to do well for example kingdom hearts i was a huge fan not huge i was like mediocre sized fan i was like <sighs> played the first one I was like, this is cool second one i was like this is the shit I'm with it second one and then you know they had all the mini ones I didn't touch those things I didn't touch all this the little 2.0 1.0 all that 1.5 whatever I didn't touch them wasn't interested I was like if it ain't on a console I'm not playing it I'm not playing it okay so I'm still waiting for three right but I saw the trailer and I when I watched Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer I was like this was so long ago. I was a kid when these games, like, I don't think I can play this again. Like, not for enjoyment, but for challenge. It was a button mashing game, do you understand? Like, Kingdom Hearts, at its core, was a button masher. Sure, they did it a little different, but it was a button masher. I don't play button mashers anymore. Now that I'm older, ever since Dark Souls, those games just don't appeal to me. I need some intricate if that's the right word combat in my life you have to have a smart combat you have to have a challenging combat give me something to practice and master and get good at and want to show off you know what i'm saying like don't just give me a game that anybody can be good at hint hint the division a lot of trash cans on there you can't just be you can't just want to be good at something like jump in and expect to be good that's not how it works what happened to get good, right? You gotta, you gotta put in the time. And you gotta get good. That's what it is. 
And that's what they need to do for Spyro. Not like a PvP thing, but give me a combat system that I want to master a little bit. Give me a challenge. Give me the same game, but tweak it just a, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just just enough to where I'm like, this is refreshing. I still remember this game, but it is it's it's keeping up with the times. You gotta keep up with the times, you know what I'm saying? I'm still hyped as ever. I'm so hyped. You know? And I know a lot of you don't care because this is a division channel essentially for now until other games release. I don't care about any other games at the moment. I try to bring Fortnite to the channel, but I think I gotta I gotta go about it a different way because it's kind of stale to watch if it's not live or if you don't have funny commentary you know what i'm saying but i i'm still you know i know you guys don't care and i, I love you i still love you but i'm trying okay i'm not gonna dish out things i don't want to dish out because right now division is 1.8 and all that and i'm not gonna get into that but you know, I don't want to push out things that I'm not, I'm not obsessed over. And I have to obsess over things to really put my all into it. And as you can tell, I haven't sounded this excited in a while. And Spyro does that. Spyro, you don't understand. <laughs> you don't. If you're a Spyro fan, you understand. But if you have no idea, never played it, you're like, I don't care. I don't want to care. Stop talking. You know what I'm saying? Spyro just changed it for me and I'm so excited like I seen how it looks I think they did a great job the Spyro version like that Skylanders version was ugly I'm glad they didn't go that direction I would have hated that but they actually kept them looking good looking nice and I appreciate it I, I respect that but you know the crash was a huge success you know, reboots are a thing now. Like, it's official. Like, they've been happening. But a lot of companies were hesitant to do it, you know, due to profits. Is it going to sell? You know, sure. We're in different times. But now that they know they can play off people's nostalgia and bring a great game back and make it better, why wouldn't they? You know, this is just a step forward to get all the old games you love. And, and play them in that beautiful 60 frames I know if Sony was on PC they're like 60 frames is trash for a console it is great and I'm a console player okay so 60 frames you know 1080p or higher and you're looking at something just pure magical in my opinion like you couldn't ask for something greater these are the little moments that you in gaming that I get excited for things they're doing it you know you see all oh, the no they are they swear like when Final Fantasy 7 trailer remake dropped people lost their mind now I'm I'm kind of fanboying over because I am a nerd at heart I don't come off as one but I'm a nerd when it comes to gaming I am a nerd you you'd be surprised by what games I used to play before the division you know what I'm saying I was playing these RP like Dark Cloud. Like I said before, a lot of you might not know what it is. Dark Cloud 1, Dark Cloud 2. I mean, Dark Souls, a lot of people didn't know I was a hardcore Dark Souls player. I was hardcore. I was good at it. Division came around and everything just sit to the side. There's nothing out right now is what I'm trying to say. But I'm still waiting for Red Dead 2. Last of Us 2. Death Stranding, oh, that's probably my most anticipated right there. You know, there's all these other games that I'm waiting to bring to the channel and put my take, my personality, my personality, ugh, I can't even talk. You know what I'm talking about. My take on these video games and just, if I love it, I'm going to get into it, you know, hard and push it out and make it something that I can enjoy and you can enjoy. I'm not going to dish out, like I said just to dish out I, I just can't I just if I'm not in love with it I don't want to put it out but Spyro I think I can do I want to live stream a lot more like I said I think I want to do that with Spyro and I also want to you know start live streaming for E3 I want to do a reaction like a live reaction to E3 because last year kind of sucked 
but hopefully this year is going to be great. Those are my thoughts, really. You know, what are your thoughts? If you're a Spyro fan, let me know in the comments. Let's have a conversation, and I'll see you guys in the next one.